So one of the most fundamental questions that we could ask is why even do a PhD? Uh, and this is something that you might, might have been asked yourself by bemused relatives and friends. And the thing is that your reasons for doing a PhD initially uh, might change over time. So most people go into a PhD with uh, very high expectations, both of themselves and also of what the program will offer. Um, so, you know, a lot of people have this kind of romantic notion of what a PhD is and what it means to be an academic, which very often um, doesn't actually match up to reality. And so this can be um, quite demotivating. It can lead to quite a lot of disillusionment among PhD students because you dedicate so many years of your life to this thing and it's not entirely what you expected when you started. So sometimes it's important to reassess why you're doing it and find another reason. Um, so accept that it's not quite what you were looking for, um, but there might actually be things which are even better which come out of it. So um, I think the most um, basic reason for doing a PhD is if you want to be an academic, um, then it's really clear, it's really simple, right? That's what you want to do. But for everybody else who isn't sure about whether they want to stay in academia or if they know they want to do something else, but don't quite want to give up, but don't quite have a good reason to, to you know, carry on, then there are other ways that you can think of your motivation or your fundamental reason why you're doing a PhD. And this will be different for different people, um, but I think um, one of the strongest motivations is to just do it for the hell of it. So do it without expecting to get something in return. Do it just because it's a, it's a challenge. And then if you take that weight off, if you treat it lightly, if you treat it as just, you know, here's this fun thing that I've decided to do, this weird um, fun thing, then, you know, you can put your energy into it, but it's not quite so heavy, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't weigh as heavily upon you. And the thing is that then, if you decide to do something else after your PhD, you don't know, you cannot know yet what opportunities will come up. So when I finished my PhD, I had no idea that I would then go to France to do a postdoc for a year and then go to Spain to do another postdoc and then um, stop being an academic, but then start coaching PhD students. There are other people I know who've studied, say, experimental physics and then become graphic designers or somebody else who became a, a patent lawyer or somebody else who... Um, ended up, you know, being a professional gardener. You know, there are all these different things that people do. And sometimes there's a really weird route to go from academia to that thing. But if you took the PhD out, they never would have found that particular um, calling, if you like. So, you know, when somebody asks you why, you don't need a really, really deep reason. You know, just do it for the hell of it. And that, I think, is the strongest reason of all.